So I made a few changes to the 23 add-in planner templates and I wanted to show you what my process is when I'm editing a product. Um, I went ahead and created it inside the original file, which is something I never do. I, I, I'm not sure why I did that because I'm always afraid to change things around and just do things wrong. So what I did is I added two pages. Let me get a little bit closer to show you. I titled them my teacher planner because it kind of looks like, like a teacher planner. If, if you're a teacher, I used to be a teacher for eight years. So I'm very used to this type of layout. And someone reached out the other day and asked for something very similar. So I came up with this uh, neat little um, design that looks like a teacher planner to plan lessons for the week. But I also, I was very excited when they um, reached out because I was thinking about creating a content planner for myself. And this is what I had in mind to create that content planner because it honestly, it looks like something you would use to plan your content for different um, media avenues that you are in, right? For you, for your business. So I had fun creating this. And now that I created the bare bones, basically, I need to make a few changes to kind of make it match the other um, parts of this file. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get these pages out of here into a new document. So I'm going to click file and you could do make a copy and then delete all the pages you don't want, but I'm going to make it a little bit easier. And I just, I'm just going to start a new design. So I'm going to click here, create new design. And I need it to be US letter size. So it's going to open a new design. I'm not really going to title anything right now. So let's go to folders all your designs and oh i'm gonna have to scroll i'm gonna have to scroll hmm you know what i'm going to do hold on let me come back okay so here it is i didn't have to scroll so much so i finally opened it here on the right and i'm going to scroll till i find the page that i want so i'm going to click on the page that i want and it adds it automatically so add new page click on the next one, add new page, click on the next one. Now, if you're on the free version, you're not gonna be able to do this. I still have one more page to add. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the original, find that page that I couldn't bring in. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to copy, Command C, cause I'm on a Mac or Control C if you're in a PC. Then I'm going to come back here, add a new page and Command V to paste. and it, Paste the entire page. Oh, I just noticed I misspelled something. Um, it imports the entire page on here perfectly where it's supposed to be. So now I have the four pages that I need. Let me go ahead and close that. Okay, now I have the four pages that I need that I'm working on. So I'm going to start with this one. And something I want to do is I'm going to refer back to the original designs just to see what kind of colors I used. And I noticed that I used the blue one for those um, um, boxes. So let me see. I'm going to click on a box and I'm going to select blue. And at the very bottom, it says change all from black to blue. I'm gonna click on that. So all the boxes on here, basically all, all elements that were black now are going to be blue. And it does it for the whole entire document. So let's go back in here. I can see that the words were um, purple. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's go back here. I'm going to select um, a piece of text. Go here, purple. And again, down at the bottom, change all from black to purple. Let me see. 
the big words were blue. So I'm going to have to go back and change the big words to blue. But I'm going to do one by one because I don't want to change everything to blue. Just the big words. Now let's take a look at those boxes over here and let's see what color I used on here. Oh, I used that um, gray, grayish e color. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's see what happens. So that would be this color. And let's see if I click change all what happens. Okay, so it's not so bad. Now, did I use, I probably messed around with the transparency. Yeah, 45. Transparency is 45. Now I wonder, do I have to go one by one and fix? Probably. Yep, probably. So let's go ahead and do it. Because why not? I mean, I love Canva. It's not perfect, but what can you do? 45, and you just go back one by one and do 45. Thank God it's only four pages. Actually two. Okay, that's nice. So now let's change that font. I'm gonna grab this, and the one that I used was this one. Nikaeli, ooh, but that doesn't look good. I'm gonna have to change it. And I'm gonna put here my teacher planner. That's looking good. I'm gonna pull it a little bit just to make it bigger. Pull from the sides over here. Okay, that's looking good. I'm going to copy this box, go all the way here. I'm going to delete this, paste it, and instead of teacher, I'm going to put content. And these pages are very versatile. It could be a meal planner as well. Um, you could put here the different meals you know, because it's a daily one, Monday through Sunday. Um, so you could go ahead and add on here, like this could be snack number one, breakfast, snack number two, lunch, snack number three, dinner, and this could be dessert. And then you start putting whatever you're going to eat for each um day and something about these boxes is you can make them bigger if i put this all the way to the top and i pull this a little bit boom there you go and now you have a bigger box then you can grab this one pull it all the way down and you have bigger boxes in fact i'm gonna leave it like that just for this one the other one i'm going to keep it the same way the way it was see this one I made it a bit bigger this one I went ahead and kept it the same way just to give you a little bit of um, decision making and at this point it is very plain but what you can do is add any clipper that you want you could add anything really let's see what they have featured today um, I've used this before this is really cute. So you could do something like this, maybe a little bit smaller. And you could add a little bit of decor. Um, let me see if you're using it, I don't know, for meal planning, that could be a bit of a, there you go. I've seen some people do something like adding something like this, making it really big. Someone sent me a design like this the other day. You make it, we can even make it a little, there we go. Then position it all the way to the back, then go to the transparency and make it very transparent. You just bring it down a lot and give it a, a bit of a background and it looks really pretty actually this is something that I would do that looks really pretty and I've seen people do that with my designs and it looks so pretty 
Okay, so now that we're done editing all of these pages, uh, what I want to do, let me just refresh the page real quick, just to make sure it sticks. Let me go back here and see if I can see it on all my designs. Okay, it's right here and it, it self titled itself to Thursday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going back to my original. This is my original 23 pages design. So what I want to do is add four pages over here. I'm going to this first one, then I'm going to folders, all my designs, and it should be here. I might actually have to refresh this page. Sometimes it does that. So again, and let's see if it's here. It should be this one. There we go. So I'm going to go all the way down. and find that first page over here. And I'm going to add this one, go to the next one, add it, go to the next one, add it. And again, if you're on the free version, you're not gonna be able to do that, but all you need to do is go back here and I still have yet to import the last one. So I'm going to select everything, copy, go back to where I want it and pick, oh God. I did something else. <laughs> okay. And paste. And it brings it in perfectly. All you need to do is literally copy paste from another document. So that's pretty much it. So now what I'm going to do is delete those that I don't need, which would be this one, this one, this one, and this one. And all I need to do, oh, not this one, hold on. Okay, so one, two, three, and four, go all the way over here, click on delete, and we're done. Now I have my finished designs inside my document and it went from being a 23 page to a 27 page. So um, I hope you enjoy this update. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help.